Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about mid journey. There's a lot of people who have already have do this, but um, better late than never, right? But I think I will talk about mid journey more detailed, more advanced use. And of course, at the end of the video, I will give away three mid journey pass code. And one is specifically for my Patreon members because you have to have it, the passcode to join the beta of the Mid Journey. So first, let's briefly talk about what is Mid Journey. So as you see all this image, this is a Mid Journey like a social media page. So all this image is generated by Mid Journey. So first, how can we get the Mid Journey passcode? Go to this website. This page is kind of weird because it's quite empty. But you just click this apply beta and they will ask you some question and you just fill in some answer for that. In about one month, they will send you an email and you can get this passcode. So the email is looking like this. So first you have to have a Discord account and you click this address it will send you directly to the mid journey discord so let's take a look what is the mid journey discord looks like so this is the mid journey discord you just have to find a room for you to create stuff so all this room you can click in people are creating stuff inside of this room and you can see other people's creation all these are their keywords for their creation so you just like uh, browse a little bit and to get the idea of what other people create and what is the keyword they put in because there's like a, a lot of people constantly creating stuff so whatever you type in soon will be like a wash out to the top so it's very difficult to track what you create so what we usually do is we will find uh, any room like this newbie room for a beginner and you just like uh, click here this sign and you click create and you just type a room of your name so maybe I type and copy this name and send a message here so this message means it's too many rooms have been created in this bigger room. So let's change another. So I just run into some problem. Used to you can just click here and create and to type your room name and you can find your room. But yesterday they just make some change. So they limit the maximum room that can be created. So now it's like sometimes you, you are not able to create a room. So if that is the case, you just like uh, click here and you just find a, a room that is more empty. So let's just find a room to make some test. Okay, now I'm in an empty room. So let's start to create something. And since last video I'm creating 3D text, this time I try to create some text like the last video. Just uh, press a slash and you can see this image in, and you click that. And in this box, you just type whatever keyword you want to create. So that's what I type in. Black background, white text. This is my name and detail, death metal, evil. So it's like a, I wish to receive a, a text that is writing this. I wish it have some more detail and the death metal font. And this is the image ratio I wish to receive. So let's just click enter. And this is the previous test. So just don't worry about this. Processing time is between like a one minute to sometimes 10 minutes. It's depend on how busy is the server. They have a different mode, like a fast mode and relax mode. If you want to receive your image faster, change to the fast mode. You are not in the rush, you change to relax mode because the fast mode have some time limit. So like uh, sometimes it will confuse about what you type in. I wish to have a background in white text, but it didn't give me that. So maybe I need to be more specific. So it's not perfect. So that's what we got. You will see this full image and, and know this button. So what does this mean? So this image is the first image, like one, two, three, four. So the number order is like this. And the U means upscale. So I will, if I click U1, it means I wish this image to upscale. 
this two is like the second image upscale. V it means the variant of this image. So maybe I I think this about right is close what I want, but I want it to be a little bit different. So I click this V one. So what is this um, like a circling arrow means? It means I want to create this all over again. It's like a redo of this. So let's try to upscale first one and the third one, and maybe like a, make a variant for V1. Okay, so you can do multiple job in the same time. Just you don't have to wait one is finished and to do the next. And now because I'm in the fast mode because I'm pay member, so it will take quite a short time. I think this looks quite beautiful. I would like to make something out of Blender using this image. So just give it some time. Okay, now it's finished. So let's take a look at this. So yeah, it's quite nice. I like that. So we can save this. Just like right click and save image. And I can keep upscale this. Click this upscale to max. So now we upscale this to the max. It looks like this. I can click this open uh, original image. So this is what we got. So that is the basic use of Mid Journey. Typing some explanation for what you want to the text. So let's see a more advanced use. Not a lot of people using this function. It's using image to create image. So let's see how we do about that. Just typing the URL of this image. You can find an image in the, on the internet and if you have the URL, you just type in with this image and you can type in some keyword and you will get the result. But what if your image is not in the internet? It's easy, you just upload the image to the server. So you just click this plus sign and upload file. So now I'm trying to upload a file and you just click enter so now we have upload this file and i just click that and open original so i got this url and i can just like uh, copy that and go imagine and now we have the image we can type some keyword for mixing with this image i just type a very simple maybe like a dog it will start and create the image and let's wait and see what we got so that's what we got. Obviously, it's not quite what we expect. I was expecting some dog that is like uh, trapping in the garbage or something, or made with garbage. So the explanation have to be more specific, especially if you're using image to create. Let's do that another test. So this time I try to put in two image. So I put this garbage and uh, this uh, text that we made. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, so that is the result it gave us. It's quite unexpected. So let's try to scale up some of this. Maybe I like this too. Maybe like the second one and the third one, right? Now it's like a still processing, there's like a, the percentage and during the processing you can still click the image and see the result. I think these two images is quite beautiful, it's like a, quite my test. Okay, both of these images are finished, let's take a look. It's like a photograph, it's very beautiful, let's take a look at this. Okay, yeah, it's definitely pick up some keywords, right? Like. A, like this garage and city and this image like a uh, very black and white and uh, some like a uh, very desperate and evil vibe so that's the result you got and there is some even more the best use for this image mixing function so if you go to this address this is the user guide for Midjourney. So there have explained everything and you can find more advanced use. So you can mix like a different percentage. You can control the weight. 
maybe like you want the first image to be like 80% and the second image to only use 20% so you can have more precise control and even more control than you can find in this user guide okay so that is the power for using image to create image so that is more advanced use so now let's take a look at their social media page it's kind of like a pinterest a place to browse what other people create and you can even find their keywords and you can learn a lot from browsing this page so let's take a look at that this is their social media page so in the community feed you can find all this creation you just like browse and you find a image that you like so let's take a look a little bit so I've been looking around and I like this image so I can click this to mark that and there's uh, some page that I can see every image that I mark so I can take a look what is the keyword they're using I can learn a lot from this page so I can browse a little bit like uh, okay what is the keyword and I can click this button I can copy this prompt so I can use that after you copy that and you go back to create so just like uh, type in so now we can just create an image that looks very similar to that but you might think it is not very good because you just like copy other people's work yes it is not really good but we are just studying we are studying what keyword can we get the result so the best use you have to create change some of their keywords and mixing other keywords so you can have all your own creation but it's not against of the rules of the mid-journey because mid-journey is actually promoting you to mixing other people's work and study other people's work it is like a very open source open-minded platform just don't worry too much about that so when you copy that you will not get the image ratio so just type in image ratio So I, I didn't change some of the work, I'm just going to give you an example so you can copy other people's keyword and you can mix and you just type in. So the best is like you make a note and you just like write in a lot of keywords and then later on you, you want to create something like this, you just like copy, copy that and put in because it's a little bit difficult to keep all these keywords in your mind so the image is finished yeah you get the idea you can create something similar to the other people but once again you better mix some of your key own keyword because as a creator we don't like create things looks just like other we don't like to copy others people's work so this is just an example so now I give you some keyword that I recommend the first is like a, yeah the image ratio you type just like that you can get your image ratio and the second is in the style of an artist's name like for example H.R. Geiger or a painter so you can get the image that have some of the artist's style and if you want to create something very looks like a photograph you can type in a photographer's name so automatically the image will be looks like a photograph it will not be like a painting or like a cartoon this cinematic you can make your image more like a movie vibe and of course photorealistic it will make your image more like a photo and if you want to take create some text you can type this typography font or graffiti so you can get the text result and finally we are a 3d artist so sometimes we will want to create some image texture so you can type pattern or seamless texture so let's take a look what the seamless texture will give us so once you get a keyword that you want to use you can just like directly type in and create something but i recommend you go to the social media page and go to the community feed and you type in the keyword you wish to use and you search that so you will give a result that other people create 
with this keyword so you can see how this keyword work maybe you don't work really well maybe it will give you what you want so seamless texture you will search all this that is like a, what we want it's like an image texture so so now once again you can study other people's keyword and you can use in your own creation and you can mark some of the image that you like okay so that is the power of using their social media page for your own study and there's your own page that you can browse all your work so now let's take a look what is their payment plan the first one is the basic member it's for ten dollar a month and you can create around 200 image but if you want to play with this this is really not enough so there's like a second payment it's like thirty dollar a month i recommend this and you can get unlimited creation but keep in mind there is like a relax mode and the fast mode but the fast mode still have some limited time so you cannot always use fast mode so only when you really want to like upscale something or you really want to create something really fast you use that and once you become a paid user you can get some free invite code that you can invite some people like a 5 or 10 so you can give away to other people that join to this program so if you guys have become a paid member and you have some passcode left you can give me in my instagram message and i will give away in my channel to other people and there is another most expensive payment it's like 600 dollars a year so the biggest benefit for this plan is that you have totally privacy so other people will not see what the keyword you use so if you want to keep your keyword as a secret you can use this payment and now i want to give away three passcode so one passcode i will save for my patreon member so if you are my patreon member and send me a message in the patreon page the first one send me that message say you want the passcode i will give you and the other two i will give a channel subscriber so you just subscribe the channel and you leave a comment down below say you want this passcode and also you send me a message on my instagram say you want this passcode and once i got like a 10 people have sent me this message i will choose because i don't want to just like a give away to like a random guys because i want to give the people that it's like a really creating something that really love to create so we'll take a look at your instagram page and pick from that so that is everything i want to talk about mid journey very powerful tools it's really changed the workflow for a lot of artists i hope it can give you some impact too so enjoy your creation bye bye